Hi, I'm June from Wisconsin. I'm a survivor. I'm a brain aneurysm survivor. I'm a subarachnoid hemorrhagic survivor. I'm a stroke survivor. And I'm an unruptured brain aneurysm survivor. Two and a half years ago, about, my brain decided to give me the worst headache of my life. So when you've ever, if you've ever heard that term, if you suffer the worst headache of your life, get to a hospital right away. They aren't kidding. I was in the process of um, dawdling. I was supposed to go and pick up my Harley on April 14th, 2012 from winter storage and decided that I didn't feel very good and didn't really feel like going, which is really unusual. So I decided to vacuum my truck instead to waste time. And luckily for me, because it saved my life, because if I'd been on time, and if I'd gone, gotten up and gone anyway, I'd have been on my Harley and I'd be dead from losing control of my bike. But instead, I was vacuuming my truck and when the headache came on, I turned around and sat down and my three-year-old grandson, Jack, who happened to be right by me at the time, asked me what was the matter and took one look at me and knew that there was something bad going on and asked me if I was having an emergency. Are you having emergency, Grandma? And I said, yes, Jack, I'm having emergency. Should I get Mama? I said, yes, Jack, you better go get Mama. So he went and got his mom. And my daughter came over and we got 911. And they took me to the local hospital here in town. And uh, I was so fearful about being treated at the local hospital that I never lost consciousness until they made arrangements to have me transferred to the hospital uh, in the city, which is about, uh, in bad traffic, about 20 miles away. Um, and once the second ambulance crew came and got me, and I knew that I was going to be going to the teaching hospital, uh, the larger hospital, um, I did lose consciousness until right before they took me in for surgery. Um, I did uh, happen to wake up again just in time to speak to um, my parents. Uh, apparently um, my daughter and my husband were told to get family because they didn't think that I was going to survive um, the surgery and better get family around um, to say final goodbyes or whatever in the chance that I wouldn't. What I can tell you um, mostly about aneurysms, and I'm sure there'll be other people who will tell you about ABMs and, and um, other things, is that every eight minutes an aneurysm ruptures, and about 50% of those individuals will die within minutes because they didn't get to treatment or get the right treatment or the rupture was so massive that it killed them. Um, or they didn't think it was anything and they went back to sleep or they went back to bed or they didn't know what was happening because awareness um, about aneurysms and AVMs and um, hemorrhagic strokes is so poor that people aren't aware of what's going on. Um, women are uh, more likely to suffer this than men are. Um, I can tell you that for me, um, the biggest thing for me is that I am more emotional um, than I was before. Um, my brain is a lot slower than it was before. I was a, um, a math star, I guess you could say. And now I can't add in my head, I can't um, 
if I'm tired or stressed, I have a hard time processing information at all. I um, get lost very easily. Sometimes I get lost coming home from the grocery store, don't know where I am. I've been on my own street, past my house, pulled over the side of the road three doors down and couldn't remember where I was. Um, the biggest thing that I can tell you is that um, it isn't, they say that it runs in families and that it can be a hereditary thing. However, in my family, there is nobody that we can find that has it. However, that means that because I am the first person, I've started the link. So my children, my grandchildren, everybody who comes after me um, in my bloodline will have to get screened and be careful. Um, yes, I look well, I look wonderful. My speech sounds good. There are times when I sound like gibberish and don't make sense. Um, my balance is off. I walk like a drunken sailor. I look a lot of times like I'm high or drunk um, and um, I'm in pain probably 95% of the time in my head but I'm blessed I don't have half the deficits that majority of people who are in my situation do and um, I am part of a group from the Joe Negro Foundation. We are about 3,000 strong on Facebook and that doesn't include our face-to-face, -face, feet on the ground support groups that are planted in hospitals all over the United States um, and uh, hopefully soon to be face-to-face uh, -face groups in hospitals all over the world. We are a worldwide organization. We are in Australia, Ireland, the UK, um, um, oh see now here's where my deficit is. We are all over in all different parts of the world. Um, the Netherlands um, and my memory, I'm sorry, escapes me but we are a strong group but we need your help in getting awareness out um, thanks to natalie necro um, and thanks to her father unfortunately who passed away from an aneurysm that we are unfortunately out here trying to get support out but um, bless her for starting this in in her father's name so that we have a platform to raise awareness and get this out so please help us in getting this fight out um, and getting awareness out so please help us and share your story share our stories and join us on Facebook and join us in a support group thank you